எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டுவெல்த் டாபிக் யூனிட் த்ரீ தியரிஸ் ஆஃப் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் அண்ட் இன்கம் கண்டினியூடு ஹெனீஷியன் தியரி ஆஃப் இன்கம் டிட்டர்மினேஷன் ஹீன்ஸ் பிரிங்ஸ் அவுட் ஆல் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்கம் அண்ட் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் இன் ஹிஸ் சிம்பிள் தியரி ஹி பிலீவ் தட் இன் ஷார்ட் ரன் the level of income of the economy depends on the level of employment the higher the level of employment the higher will be the level of income the principle of effective demand occupies a key position in his theory the principle of effective demand is ability and willingness to spend by individuals firms and government ability that is the money that we ought to have we should have that is ability and willingness even if i have money i must be willing to spend it so the principle of effective demand is ability and willingness to spend by individuals firms and government effective demand is equal to income y equal to c consumption plus i investment c plus i equal to output production equal to employment he has used aggregate demand and aggregate supply approach to explain his simple theory of income aggregate means any quantity that is a grand total for the whole economy demand aggregate demand is the total demand for all goods and services in the economy and aggregate supply is the total commodities supplied in the economy he is called these two factors as aggregate demand function ADF aggregate supply function ASF a function is the link between two or more variables we have already learned aggregate demand function let us learn today aggregate supply function aggregate supply function consists of four components aggregates consumption expenditure c aggregate private savings s the third net tax payments t fourth one personal transfer payments to the foreigners rf okay so aggregate supply equal to c plus s plus t plus rf equal to aggregate income generated in the economy in the assumption of fixed money wages and variable wages aggregate supply curve is drawn in this figure horizontal line see here x axis in x axis employment and vertical line y axis and in y axis expected proceeds i mean expected output is just applied and see here from this first one money wages is it money wages are fixed in is it curve so money wages are fixed in is it curve so it is linear wages rate increases with employment in is it one wages rate increases with employment in is it one thus this curve is non linear see enough full employment aggregate supply curve becomes inelastic in the vertical straight line so remember the aggregate supply depends on the relationship between price and wages if prices are high and wages are low 
automatically workers will be employed more so if prices are high wages are low the producers would like to employ more workers if prices are low and wages are high the producers stop or lessen the number of employing the workers this is what we just find it in the aggregate supply function thus aggregate supply function is an important factor in determining the level of economic activity